All right, guys, today I find myself over at Power RV. Uh, we're doing an inspection on a 2017 Gemini from Thor. I'm a big fan of tiny, tiny RVs and tiny homes, so obviously I like lo looking at this one. We're going to go ahead and get on the roof, take a look at it real fast. I don't expect to find anything. Now, this is a 17. This is 2021. Uh, this thing has 74,000 miles on it, so somebody really used the heck out of it. And I'm not going to expect to see anything wrong with it. So let's get up on the roof and take a look. All right, well, let's try this one. I haven't been up here yet. Ooh. Nice. So we're still using an acrylic self-leveling here. Or a Dicor feel it loose anywhere that's quite a tall skylight right there uh, I don't know if you can see that frame moving a little bit might be a little loose that's why it's got a little bit of a crack on it on the ceiling but I don't see any damage to the skylight now, TPO is very similar to rubber roof it's just a lot more durable it's very sturdy it feels like really thick uh, manila envelope or something like that. So this vent lid, it's got some marbling in it, but I don't see any damage to it. So all the ceilings look really good. There's a 17. So this is four years old. That's why you, you shouldn't have to reseal or reapply Dicor every three or four months. If, the vent or the trim is uh, secure. It should last quite a long time. And this has got 74,000 miles on it, so we're doing pretty well. So I take this off. Well, it's ugly underneath there, but looks intact. That's why it's nice to have these pinned ones if you're not going to get a vent with the built-in cover that way you can get those covers off pretty easily unlike the bolts that are just they never come off well this slide out topper looks intact we're looking good there I guess we might as well go ahead and look on top of the slide out yeah so the roof being a little loose on top of the roof or the slide out that's fine there's nothing wrong with that now this sealant on the edge cap right here, it feels a lot more like a, a pro seal. Less like a uh, silicone sealant. Take a look at uh, the AC. We'll make sure it's not loose just by leaning it up against it a little bit. Nothing wrong there. Man, this thing's holding up fantastic. I don't see any issues. This weird bubbling right here, because this isn't Dicor roof sealant, it's a, a, a different brand. I've noticed that with this, that, that acrylic, that it has a little bit more bubbles in it. But it works just fine. That's actually glass. It's a frameless glass. It looks like a little stress crack right there. That's just going to be cosmetic in the gel coat. I would just kind of keep track of that. This is fiberglass, so you could obviously bodywork it and paint it, but... I wouldn't put all that kind of money into that, but you really should wax this thing. This needs to be waxed. This is paint. Otherwise, it will just oxidize. This one's desperately calling out for some for, for some wax for sure. Look over here. That's just actually part of the awning. Right here, we have the awning. There's that strange uh, carefree awning where it doesn't have a metal wrap anymore. It has this great big, huge uh, uh, plastic wrap on it. And they've actually held up pretty well. This fabric looks like it's in good shape. I don't see anything wrong with it. I'd be surprised if that's the original fabric, just based on all the wrinkles in there. So I'm sure that's been replaced. And then I guess lastly, uh, this is of course a refrigerator vent. The black plastic's oxidized a little bit, but there's nothing really bad with about it. Still nice and flexible. So there it is. That was 
a very easy roof inspection. This green sticking out right there, that could just be trimmed off. That's just the insert piping for the fabric. TV antenna. Oh, I forgot to open up this vent. Need to pay attention here, guys. Yeah, looks good. It's in good shape. There's going to be a Max Air vent cover. Like I said, they're vents. They're Max fan. I think that's what it's called. It's got these built-in tabs in the vent cap itself where those pins go in. So these are the only ones that can actually go on that vent. They're very sneaky. And that's it. That's the roof inspection. Very, very simple. The roof is in great shape. Alright guys, that was it. That was a, a roof inspection on a 2017 Gemini. Gemini? I'm not sure how you want to call it from Thor. Uh, if you know, you may not know me, but I know me. I really like these tiny RVs. Tiny RVs are my favorite, and I like how they can package everything into a small area. It's a, it's a newer roof membrane, so it's not a, it's not a rubber roof. i am been pretty pleased with them. I haven't had to do any repairs on them. They seem to be very durable, long-lasting, uh, puncture-resistant, tear-resistant. Uh, other than that, they work just like a normal uh, membrane roof. You should wash it off with soap and water. Follow the manufacturer's suggestions for uh, UV protector, but you know, in my hands, I was touching that roof. They're not white. They're not chalking. Uh, been really pleased with the, the performance of those roofs. Now, we'll do a quick little walkthrough on the inside. I know you guys want to see it. Uh... There's a lot of road noise on the outside and a lot of people talking, so walking around the outside, it's not going to be something I can do. But this is going to be uh, from Thor. Now, of course, we all have our opinions about Thor, but I also like uh, the Ford chassis. So this is on a Ford Transit chassis with a Power Stroke diesel on it. So you can see it's got 74,000 miles on it right there. Chassis are in great shape. It's really not much to see on a uh, transit chassis. They lay it out very similar to the Sprinter chassis, so you still have that visor storage area. This one actually has a shade for this great big huge window right above, so there's no bunk on this one. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time to do a, a walkthrough on this one, even though I do like them so much. It does have the one slide out. It's got the flip-up bed, very similar to the, the Wayfarer that I did a video on. It has to be up for that slide out to extend or to uh, retract. This has a private bathroom, which you can get to, even with the slide out in. And it has a tankless Gerard water heater. It's just a Gravity uh, Aquamagic 4 toilet with a sink in that bathroom area. It has its own TV right there. It does have three zone uh, speaker control, so you have the bedroom zone, the main zone, and then the outside. That's going to go off that radio right there. Of course, it has its own TV right here and an outside TV. This uh, sofa does turn into a bed, but of course, like everything in the RV industry, it's plagued with what I would call cheap upholstery. I don't know how the industry keeps getting away with this, but even the driver's seat's having the same issue right up there. But other than that, this thing's in great, immaculate shape. Uh, it's got the three-way refrigerator to it. There's going to be a, uh, a pantry. Not a, pan a pantry closet, so it still has uh, a closet rod inside right there. It has LED lighting throughout, even uh, cool little backlights above there. Just a standard microwave, single uh, sink, two burner hob. This is not Corian or solid surface countertop, it's, uh, it's a laminate wrap. And uh, it does have, of course, the two Max fans. One in the bedroom, one in the uh, galley area. This AC is actually a heat pump. That's a nice feature to have. It still has the furnace down below. It's just a propane furnace. And uh, even the, the wood paneling's held up pretty well. Again, this is just a laminate. So it's, you can see the plywood. It's a laminate on top. I'm really surprised how well this is whole th it's held up. It's looking really good. This does have the Schwintech slide in it. 
Now this would be a right application for a Schwintech slide because it's a small slide. <laughs> That's where a Schwintech slide should be used. Now just like the Wayfair and other uh, RVs in this class, that flip up bed does become a uh, does become a, a sofa you can sit on and you can lean back and look at the TV from here. I wouldn't call it the most comfortable thing I've ever sat in in the world, but it's not awful. Now, strangely enough, they gave you a programmable 10 button thermostat. And we'll just check out the bathroom area because I forgot to do one thing. We have to uh, try the shower out. I'm gonna step up into it. It is a step up. So probably about six inches. And I do have to move my head around the shower bar right there. Now, if the skylight wasn't there, I would be hitting the he my head on the ceiling. So, let's see, so I'm hitting my head right there. But because it's a very tall skylight, if you guys remember on the roof, there's quite a bit of room now. You just have the bar right at eye level. Now you can see me. Of course, we can uh, operate the awning from here. It does have uh, LED lighting on it. Turn that off. They're going through there pretty well. Now this is a 23 foot model. But it's all self-contained. Got a lot crammed into a tiny little area. It's pretty nice. It even has the uh, frameless windows throughout. Well, that's pretty much the inside of this. Uh, 74,000 miles, I think it should be. Alleviate, alleviate a lot of concerns some people might have it's that's a lot of mileage for a normal vehicle let alone a motorhome and it looks really good except for the upholstery i don't really see too many issues but uh thanks a lot for watching guys i really appreciate it and uh you have a great day To, uh, we have to uh, 2017 Thor Gemini 74,000 miles on a Ford Transit with a Power Stroke diesel. There's all our good information right there $60,000. It's got one slide out in the back. This sofa does turn into a bed, of course, the table does remove as a flip around captain's chairs. There's no bunk. That's just a big window right up there. TV entertainment centers over there. There's a uh, armless awning, power awning out there. Central sink. This is not laminate. This is laminate countertop. A hob with two burners. Microwave down below. Through two three-way refrigerator. Queen size bed in the slide out back here. And Private bathroom right in here.